the inheritance. Dan got a letter with some surprising, I'm going to guess news. All right, read. Whether your child enjoys arts and crafts, swimming, sports, recreation, singing, or exploring, they're sure to have a ball at Camp Emerald Lake. We know that every family has unique needs, and we strive to be as flexible as possible. Daily, weekly, and monthly packages are available in both sleepover and pickup options. Our lifeguards are fully certified, and every counselor is trained in the cutting-edge cardiopulmonary resuscitation technique, CPR. Our goal is fun, but our priority is safety. The enclosed brochure contains information on all the exciting opportunities at Camp Emerald Lake. We're sure you'll find many things to like, and we hope to see your child soon. One of four clues found for Tommy. They have a brochure about sending Tommy to camp. Interesting. Whoa, I hear people. I like these photos and this wood. I should probably get in a lamp. Just in case someone is going to come downstairs. I don't want to spook them. What's up in the kitchen? What's this? Oh, there's Tommy. Okay. Hey, Tommy. Read his thoughts. Can't figure out some of the words in my book. Are there other families here? Here we go. Poor kid. Said they're swimming. He's That's thinking about time. camp, too. I'm good. There's Dad. Hey, Dad. He has to learn about grown-up problems at some point. Why are the houses so far apart? Those are valid concerns. Why didn't Daddy play Race and Roger with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to make that decision, I think, last episode. Hey, how's it going? It's Should good. make her breakfast in bed. Wife, hey, get mommy. out of the house. Hey, honey. All right, so they all have wants. <laughs> Wonder what she's reading. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Around oh wait, there was that uh what's this on the table. Is this the inheritance news? Can I read it from here? Do I have to be up here? There we go. Come on. Come on. Well, I guess I can... Dan, I hope you're doing well. I got this address from your father. I hope it's correct. I'll get to the point. When your cousin Richard passed away last year, we discovered that his pipe business had done very well. He wasn't wealthy, but he was very comfortable. At the execution of his will, we were somewhat surprised to see he wished to distribute his estate among all living blood relatives. He reserved the lion's share for his immediate family, as I'm sure you understand, but there was a portion allotted to you as well, and closes a check for the full amount. I trust you will honor his memory by putting it to good use. Uncle Wayne. Huh. So Dan inherited a... a money. It's not... I guess a, not like a huge amount of money. It's not like a... a full estate, but it's some money. Which I suppose is a good thing for them. What are you thinking? Oh. She's kind of lonely. Alright, let's head upstairs. I suppose. Let's see what else is going on. Well, I want to go in here. But I don't want to be spooky. Okay, this is Tommy's room. He's still wondering about the other families. I don't see anything else I can really do. What's up in this room? Oh, there's something. The Literary Register May Edition. Inside, Books of Summer, Adam Squires, The Interview, America's Top Small Run Publishers. Dan, two clues found. He's got a magazine. Okay. 
Is there... Alright, Tommy's probably still in his room. This is his bathroom. Okay. There's this bedroom here. There's another clue. Nobody around? I only met Rick once at a family reunion that must have been, what, 15 years ago? Turns out he made his fortune by, get this, selling high-end pipes. The Sherlock Holmes kind, not the plumbing kind. He must have been a hell of an interesting guy. I mean, he found a niche and made his way in the world. You have to respect that. It makes me wonder, am I giving everything I have to this book or am I leaving myself an out? It isn't announced yet. I could always pull the plug. I'd never get another advance again, sure, but there isn't a gun to my head. Unless I put one there. M metaphorically, of course. Oh, oh, that's not a good joke to make, dude. <sighs> Alright, so he's kind of questioning whether or not he wants to finish his book, I guess. If he's like... He feels inspired by the other by his uncle's like interesting strange and business. I'm gonna cut right through the pleasantries and ask you, who is this Ryan that mom mentioned on the phone? Someone new? Are you trying to keep it a secret, or did it just slip your mind the last time we talked? Spill it. Things here are moving along, I guess. When we came up I thought it would be great to have more dedicated time to paint, but I didn't realize it would be so isolating. I miss having more people around and having new ideas floating about. I got lucky in town last week, though. I found an artist co-op called Makeshift, and it seems really interesting. It's not too big, but there are lots of different types of artists there. I'll probably call and try to get more details. I don't remember if I told you this, but I've been thinking about going back to painting full time. Anyway, enough about me. Tell me what's up with you. Love, Linda. I'm going to guess that that's her sister. If they're talking about mom, right? So her sister's seeing a new guy, and she wants to make friends with some artists. What's up in here? Can you take Tommy out today? Maybe to the beach? I think you could both use some fresh air. I have to be in town by noon and probably won't be back till four. Lynn. Okay. So mom wants Tommy to go out, or wants dad to take Tommy out. Anything else in here? I don't see anything. There she is, down there. Okay, there's Tommy. I think that's all the places upstairs. What am I holding? Oh, he's... Space, read thoughts. New day, I can write my way back into this thing. Okay. So she's lonely. They've kind of... I think I've... Did I find all the clues? Oh, that painting. Tommy playing frisbee with somebody, maybe? That's kind of what it looked like. Well... I found, does it say? The inheritance. Search the house and her memories. Oh, I have to search their memories, right. So I have to sneak up, I think, I think I have to sneak up behind them to do that. I'm trying to remember. Hmm. So if I do this, explore memories. There we go. Oh, he's having a memory of this place. What about your rocket? I already played with it. What about your rocket? I already played with it. So he's just like watching TV. What about your rocket? Hmm. So his dad's trying to engage him, and he's like, nah, not having any of this. Did I not get a clue for that? Am I supposed to... Is there something in particular I'm supposed to do in these memories to get credit for doing them? I don't remember... I just have a quick wander. Because it said I didn't get like a Tommy X out of X. For, oh, and I didn't go in this room either. I gotta, I gotta go in there. Is there anything in his room? 
In his memory? No, this is just... Okay. Is there anything here? There. There he is. He's drawn a picture of him and his dad. Exit Tommy's memory, then read his thoughts to see what he wants. What does he want? Maybe like... Bring my kite to the camp Mommy told me about. Interesting. He wants to bring his kite to... So he wants to go to camp. And he wants to bring his kite. Hmm. Okay, can I possess... Can I... Wow, can I see it? I'm almost can, done. Can I... I can't do that without, like, hopping out of this, right? Okay, well, she's good. So let me... Hey, read thoughts. Wait, I can't... Can I not possess you? Oh, that was a light. Whoops. <clears throat> Search the house and her memories. Isn't that how I'm supposed to get to their memories? I'm supposed to sneak up behind them? Well, in the meantime, while they're still there, I suppose I'll explore the art room. Which is over here. There's got to be a clue in here. Tommy wants to play outside. I called the And here's another tank. journal. It isn't wildly expensive, but it sure doesn't fit into the budget. It was a bigger letdown than I thought, not being able to just sign up on the spot. It gets so lonely here sometimes. And I think Tommy's starting to feel it too. We try to play with him every day, and the woods here are pretty magical for someone his age. But kids need to be around other kids sometimes. He can only play with his cars so often. Sometimes I wish there were actual neighbors here. The only friend he's made is Davy, but seeing them at the park once in a while isn't the same as having someone to pal around with every day. It's summer vacation, and he's pretty much all alone. There's Linda. So that's what Linda hmm? is thinking. Oh, crap. What the? Been spotted. Get away as soon as possible. You cannot possess lights. When a character can see you, but once you get out of sight, you can use possession to remain unseen. Whew! Hmm. Maybe over there. Oh boy. Okay, now how do I... Okay. Explore memories. There we go. Is there something out there? The entire world's out there. The entire world's out there. Is there something out there? Just staring out the window. I knew we should have eaten something with that wine last night. My head is killing me. It was totally worth it, though. We put on some music and hung out on the couch, all cuddled up like we were freshmen again. He didn't talk about his book once. We got a little too into a discussion about whose favorite band from college was still the best and we accidentally woke Tommy up. We got him settled back down and decided to call it a night too. Well, except for... I better not write about that part. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So she had a great time. They had their their little date the night before, and she loved it. So that's good, right? That's good for her. I want her to be happy. I want everyone to be happy. That's the point of this thing. Okay. Suspicious. Read her thoughts for the final clue. That has to be something. Linda has stopped looking for you, but now she's become suspicious. If she spots you again, she'll get spooked, and you won't be able to find a compromise for her with this chapter. Interesting. Hi, Mommy. Throw some hey, gear in my painter you. bag and take it to the co-op. So she wants to go to the co-op. Oh, and her and what's his name? Dan. I have to I have to search Dan's memory now too. This is probably getting the inheritance.
Come on. Just mailed the package to Paul and I might have dodged the bullet. I was most of the way through writing some pretty embarrassing stuff. Alice eavesdropping on a phone call to give one particularly ugly example. When I decided to look for my notebook one more time. Maybe it was desperation, but something just told me to try it. I lucked out and found it this time and almost sprinted back to the office to see how much I could repair. I didn't have time to rework it all, but I sent Paul a good outline with the chapters I did have. I hope it works. Hmm. Well, that's good. He found some stuff. He figured out some stuff he likes. One of three memories found. It seems... Where, where do I find his other memories? If it's just one of th maybe I'll, I'll get more later. This is Tommy. There they are. Is this probably on the way up from there? I oh, know this is the. Don't girl. joke like that. Oh here. And when I finish my book in December. I... Don't joke like that. When I finish my book in December. Okay. And now if I read his thoughts, send Paul an example ad from the literary register. Oh, that was the magazine. Where was that? I forget. Send Paul an example ad from the literary register. So he wants to... I forget what the literary register said. But he's feeling better about his prospects for the book. So that's good. That was upstairs in his office, I think. I just want to remember what that said. This is their bedroom. That was here. <laughs> Selecting the magazines will choose Dan, Linda, and Tommy be disappointed. If you discovered their outcome and haven't spooked them, you'll be able to find a compromise with them in the next chapter. Right. So either I send this, and that's kind of a book focus, or I send Tommy to camp, and that's a camp, and that's a camp focus, or Linda goes to the co-op, I think I want to send Tommy to camp because I didn't make hey, him Mom. happy. Hey, pumpkin. In the last thing, he got kind of got screwed. Poor kid. Of course, they're watching TV, so I can't. <laughs> Can I make this? Come on. Can you? Got to lure him away. Again? Hey. How about this one? Come on. Yeah, I want I want to do the camp thing for Tommy because Tommy didn't hey, get honey. Hey, mommy. Had, like a good resolution last time. This is annoying that they're just sitting in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey Linda, can you check this light out? Why do you keep doing that? One? One? Okay, now maybe I can... Oh. Oh, I saw... That's... Isn't that... Oh, it's his kite. It's his kite. Oh, that's their bedroom. Where's Tommy? Yeah. Select the kite. Choose Tommy's resolution. Dan and Linda be disappointed. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want, to, I want, I want Tommy to be happy. Because he wasn't last time. And now I get to choose a compromise for someone, I think. You may also find a compromise with an additional character, which is either the literary register or the bag. From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 17th, 1948. I'm now certain there's something strange with the light here. Must be one of those windows. Reviewing old deeds in the living room. I saw some sort of flash of light out of the corner of my eye. I would assume the elevation would put the ocean too far away for the sun to reflect off a wave, but perhaps not. I looked, but there was nothing there except a strange shimmer like heat above the asphalt of a hot road. It dissipated almost immediately. Perhaps some concentration of the light caused it. But on to work. I began cataloging possible options for the property. I owe Mr. Lowry a report by the 24th. Why is that on the table? That's from the 40s? So now I'm compromising. Either Linda 
gets goes to the co-op or Dan works on his novel. Who Dan seems the most upset. He made like the suicide joke, which I'm really uncomfortable with. And like I wanna make him not have that thought again. Um So I think I'm gonna do that. Well wait, what's this? From the desk of her backst I failed to log my activities yesterday as so nothing of note occurred. There have been no tricks of life for the last two days and have grown certain that the ones I saw were reflections from the ocean and probably reaching the house. I've been able to focus on the task at hand and am suitably pleased with the condition of the property. I've also reached a decision on how to proceed. It came to me this morning as I stood in the conservatory, admiring the beauty of the forest. I hadn't begun my work yet, and I was thinking nothing in particular. When an idea came into my head fully formed, I was surprised that it had appeared with such clarity. But it's not unheard of for the mind to ponder such a question in the subconscious. As for the idea, it's quite simple. I will buy the house myself. I'm gonna... Help Dan. I'm gonna have to help Dan's compromise. Linda, I... Oh, man. Well, yep. Let's do it. I'm sorry, Linda. I'm sorry, Linda. And I forgot the last thing I have to do is tell Dan. Why is she doing this? Tommy didn't realize at first that spending a week at camp actually meant his parents loved him. But by Tuesday, he was elated. He made new friends, flying his kite and swimming with other children his age. His spirits improved almost overnight, and when he connected his new adventures with a gift from his father, Dan became a hero! Awesome! Dan is a hero! Dan knew that some sort of public expectation would drive him to improve the book, so he asked Paul to submit the book to the Literary Register's Up Next column, a quarterly list of upcoming novels. It wouldn't raise awareness like an ad, but it would make the book real in a way he couldn't back away from. That resolved his issue of saying he had no commitment to finishing it. That makes sense. Linda had resigned herself to the fact that they couldn't afford the co-op, but a flash of excitement she got when she heard about the inheritance quickly faded. When Dan decided not to use it for the co-op's fee, she tried to channel her frustration into work, but found herself so distracted she almost got nothing done for days. Linda, I'm sorry. 